Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. The National Football League is here and on the air. A few short moments ago, running back Tom Gurley trying to fire up the Ram faithful here in Southern California as his guys get set to do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. It's caught, Jones, 20, touchdown, Falcons, Julio Jones, 69 yards, and the Falcons have taken the early lead. Out of the gun, Goff, dumps it off to Gurley, and Gurley here fumbled it, Gurley fumbles the football, it's loose, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. It aren't working now. They turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. A deep ball for Gurley. Oh, wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So the big play nullified. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Out there, maybe throw another touchdown. That will tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Ryan. And it's complete. On first and ten, golf. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. Sammy Watkins, 53 yards. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Yeah, some great responses, It'll, too, on that one. What I was mean, the theme? A lot of people, a lot of people looked at him as a defender. Zero technique. He's got a man complete. Second and ten. It's Ryan again. Flush to his right. And some room to work. He's to the ten. And they do get him down. They'll try and throw for him with Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman in the final seconds of the first half. And the Falcons have taken the lead. The final shot before break here. Golf in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Golf now looks to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he takes it down deep into Atlanta territory. A big play there for L.A. 42 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance. Now gone. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, a nine-yard touchdown grab. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's taken down. Ryan will throw again. Buying time to his left. And taking it to the 15-yard. Finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, his second touchdown of the night. Confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield. Now the targets aren't open. Gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end. 
end zone. Touchdown, Rams. On first down, Ryan going for the deep ball. They've got his man complete. That one goes for 36 yards. But well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. Now Ryan, he's going to let it go deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Goff now to throw. He caught. Touchdown. And they've broken our tie here in the final minute. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown. Late in the game, they look like they're in control. Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. The swing pass caught. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Mohamed Sanu with time running out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Yes, sir. That touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something. Forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now. Have the momentum. Go ahead and get it done. So now this will be, in all likelihood, to force overtime. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So now this will be, in all likelihood, to force overtime. And this is off the left, upright, and through. A trick shot there, but a point is a point. Overtime, here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. This is fielded at the goal line. Spinning away. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. It's now set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, 
that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. A partner, great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing pound. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.